In this video, I'm going to take you through how to pull in an object from Maya into Unity. Now, before I begin, though, I've already set up a Unity project here, and I'm using a pre-created one. Some of the big changes I made, though, was under my scenes, I did generate a new scene just called 3D Import. And as you can see, 3D Import really doesn't have anything in it outside of the main camera and the directional light. That's because I'm going to use this scene specifically to import my object. Likewise as well, the only other thing I added to this project, and it's a completely personal preference, is I did create a My Created Assets folder under the Assets folder here. So this could be where that if I have multiple models that I want to pull in, I can go ahead and do so. Now let's hop over into Maya for a second. So I had done this barrel as far as some UV mapping is concerned. And one thing I'd like to point out is under the File drop-down menu in Maya, Maya, one benefit to Maya is it actually has the capability that you can send and set projects for two of the main game engines, including Unreal. However, the first thing you might want to do is whenever you're sending to Unity, set your Unity project. So for instance, if I wanted to come in here, so if I go under Computer and I navigate to where all of my Unity projects are stored, I can come under here and I believe I'm working in Class 11.8 and just select the project folder. The other item to point out as far as when you are working in Maya is yes, as setting up a scene, you may have some background graphics. You may also have different lighting and things like that. You really don't need to worry about pulling those into something like Unreal or Unity. The reason being is the game engine has its own lighting sources that you will be able to work with. So if I go ahead here now, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my barrel is selected. And notice over in my outliner, I did actually turn off and hide area light with the H key. I'm now ready to go ahead and under File, I can send to Unity, but more specifically, I'm going to choose the selection. Now, what I'm actually going to do here to keep things simple is a couple of things. Number one, if you had set your Unity project, notice up at the top here, it actually has the location and the navigation to the project. So you're not having to click through whenever you do your different, uh, as far as your settings go. Again, one thing that I did change before I started this video was again, I made that my created assets folder. Again, it's a personal preference. I just like to keep all of my assets in one location. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this barrel. And for right now, to make things a little bit easier, instead of doing an FBX ex export, which gives you a lot of control over the materials and different mappings, I'm just going to export as an OBJ object. Also, too, because I'm not worried about animation or rigging or anything like that on the barrel, this will keep it as one unit and one prefab whenever I pull it into uh, Unity. For the scope of this course and the scope of this video, really leaving all of the defaults is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and export selection. And what you may notice is down in the Python area, it does say that it was exported as an OBJ. But however, in Maya, you might not see anything happen. This would now be where I'd flip over into Unity. And here you can see that being in my created assets folder, you can now see not only did it pull in the two UV maps, but it also made a prefab of my barrel, specifically as far as making the model, having that Lambert material that has the UV mapping on it and the model navigation itself. So with this now, because it's a prefab, I can actually just drag and drop it into the scene. And I'll go ahead and come up to hierarchy and double click. And there you can see that it's now pulled in my object. And I can treat this object just like any other asset as far as working in the Unity environment where I can rotate around it, I can resize it, I can move it, I could even rotate it as far as the sides are concerned. And this is a nice way that you can get started as far as working with the different objects and different options as far as working with your own created models.